with centre half Dylan Coggill. Got to start. Was it your goal? I'm going to claim it. No, I'm joking. Um, I think it's come off on air, lads, to be fair, and gone in, but don't matter. It goes a goal, innit? Exactly. Gave it to you as you were the first one to celebrate. So. <laughs> Normally a giveaway, isn't it? But Yeah, well, I'll take it. Yeah. I, I don't think young Bone Dixon really wants to be claiming that one. <laughs> no, no, I'll take that one. Exactly, but another solid performance with chances to win the game at the other end. Yeah, definitely. I think we had probably the mid- better chances to win it. But credit to them, they're a good team, you know what I mean? They're a good outfit, they're strong, they've got that little bit of bite. But um, yeah, I think we could have won the game. A young side that we've got here at Gainsborough, but continuing to well defy the odds. Yeah, we are a young side, but I think we are learning like game by game. If you take a look at the start of the season to now, we've shown progression. Um, I still think we can be a bit more savvy, a bit more smart. Uh, make, referee make a bit more decisions, but no, I don't know. We're a young team, we're learning. And uh, most importantly, we've got a point today. Exactly, and it's down to four games to play, still in our own hands, and an exciting end to the season. Yeah, definitely. Look, it's a good thing going into end of the season and having something to play for. You know, we set out as targets earlier on in the season. I think obviously we're doing well up to now. It's just we need to keep going and keep fighting to end to make sure we get into the playoffs. And you've got that experience from last season at Scarborough being in that playoff mix. Yeah. Can you and that experience rub off on the other players around you? Uh, hopefully, yeah. Like I say, we just have to take each game as it comes. Um, each day, uh, each game has a different. Um, challenge sort of say and obviously different teams are better at different things but we just have to keep going and just do his own thing and get back to scoring more goals exactly but creating the chances we'd be more concerned if we weren't creating those chances yeah definitely like oops, so we're creating a lot of chances I think a little bit of it we're just not getting Robert Green in and around their box you know it's just scuffing off people I think on throughout the season you know, it's fallen to us we scored so I think it's just one of them where we just need to keep going and it'll come you had that chance in the first half, Waldock's scuffed effort that ended it at your feet. <laughs> to be fair to him, I think he's passed it and then I've scuffed it. <laughs> but yeah, um, he probably should have done better with it, to be fair. But it's just one of them, isn't it? But you dust yourselves down. We've got four games to go, like I said earlier, but that bank holiday Easter weekend is massive. Yeah, it's massive. I think every game now to end the season is massive, but like I say, we just focus on us, prepare right, and then go into the game full of confidence, obviously. We've Probably being the better side against a team who aren't lost in 18. So, exactly. Positive. Extending that and beat and run again that we started at Everton last weekend. Just yeah. got to keep on building yeah, game by game. Definitely. I think we were a bit unlucky last week. I think the referees should have given a foul on Yatesy. But it's one of them. Like I say, we didn't get beat. Um, it's been better if we'd got three points out of one or two games, but at the end of the day, points better than none, isn't it? So, we go again. Exactly. Cheers for your time, Dylan. Cheers.